Willkommen zurück bei The Zodiac Trial. Letztes Mal haben wir mit Dog und Bunny zusammen ein weiteres Rätsel gelöst und dadurch ein Minor Trinket gefunden oder Major Trinket. Ich bin ganz sicher, es war ein Trinket. Wir haben was gefunden, das ist mal gut. So. Und jetzt geht's weiter. Before the discussion could continue, the speakers cut on. Round 3 has started. Now, let us see how the race has progressed. The rat has run one space. The ox has run one space. The tiger has run one space. The bunny has run one space. The dragon has run one space. The snake has run one space. The horse has run one space. The sheep has run one space. The monkey has run one space. The rooster has run one space. The dog has run one space. And the pig has run one space. Ah, alle haben sich dran gehalten. Before round four begins, I have an announcement to make. What? There is an additional rule I have yet to inform you all of. A quirk of the race, if you will, that you all may be interested in. <laughs> no doubt those of you who checked the information tab will have noticed you each have a personality assigned. From the rat to the pig, each of your personalities are unique to you. <laughs> most of you probably dismissed that, and for most of you, that was the right choice. However, for two of you, this personality is an incredibly important variable. First up, I talk about the victorious personality. The victorious personality wants to finish the race in first place, just like everyone else. However, this personality type isn't content in a big ol' shared victory. For this personality to be satisfied, no more than three animals can tie for first. If this condition isn't satisfied, the animal with this personality will be treated as if they have lost. They will be punished accordingly. Wait. Wait, but that means... Are you kidding? That's crazy! No. The other personality is to take note of is the defeated personality. Spannend. Letztes Mal war es nicht smart and dumb. Jetzt ist es victorious und defeated. Das ist interessant. Unlike the other personalities, this personality doesn't actually wish to win the race. The animal with this personality wants to be in last place when the race finishes. If that happens, all animals except those possessing the defeated personality and those possessing the victorious will be executed. However, this caveat is not applicable. If first place is a tie between nine or more animals. What the fuck? <laughs> I god, does this guy think he's fucking with us? I apologize for not making these rules clear from the start. I fear you might think that this would have been good information to have from the start. And you know, you were absolutely right. Therefore, to make up for keeping this from you until now. This round will be extended by 15 minutes. Use that time to regroup. And as always, choose wisely. <laughs> this couldn't be happening, right? And there was no way. That bastard. There was no way that that was unintentional. He left. He let us foster a false sense of peace. And then, when we were sure about our safety, he introduced this bullshit rule which forced our hands. Now, no matter what, at least two people would have to die. This couldn't be right. I thought... I thought he said that if we did everything right, everyone could escape. It was our fault for believing that sucker for one minute. Is he serious? Probably. Then people are going to have to die, aren't they? Everybody, everybody calm down. We can't descend into madness just like this. 
First off, the people with the victorious and defeated personality types should just admit it now. <laughs> It'd be best for everyone. Oh my god, you moron. You say what you think they out himself by like that? They're not that stupid. It's not stupid, it's noble. Think about it, people. Either 11 could die, or 2 could die. Which sounds better to you? If you confess now, we'll make sure you are honored after your death. That's seriously your offer? It doesn't sound worth it to me. Criticizing the offer? What? Are you one of them? <laughs> nah, no way. Trust me. If I had one of those personalities, I'd admit it. <laughs> Why would I hide something like that? Because you want to survive. Yeah, see, I'm not hearing good reason. Everyone, quiet. If your personality is victorious or defeated, please speak up right now. Obviously, no one's going to blame you. We just want to come to an agreement. However, if you don't speak up now, we'll have no choice but to treat you as an enemy. So please, think carefully about how you want to proceed. With those words, a plague of silence came over the room. No one even dared cough. It was as if you could breathe in detention. Uh, I was hoping that maybe things could be resolved easily. However, it didn't seem as if we would be so lucky. Eventually, Monkey chimed in. Everyone actually remembered their personalities, right? It wouldn't be too odd for someone to forget such a seemingly useless detail. It's possible that the defeated and victorious personalities don't even know themselves. Actually, I'm not super sure about what mine is. I mean, I think I remember correctly, but I'm not certain certain, you know? Maybe I should go and check. Like, I don't remember. It didn't happen that long ago. But Dragon, what's the harm with letting people go check? Better safe than sorry, right? I think letting anyone retreat at this stage would be unwise. The flaws are twofold. First, it allows time for those with secrets to hide to compose themselves. At the moment, they're likely still flustered and more likely to sleep up. Additionally, letting them walk away and think by themselves will give them time for justification. The subconscious mind is awfully effective at convincing the conscious mind of what it wants using sweet-sounding arguments. There's a saying that the best way to make a man murder someone is to give them a good reason, and then give them time with nothing to do but think by themselves. Uh, that sounds a like a bit of reach, Snake. No. Oh, sorry, wrong. That's my microphone. No, the Snake's right. No one needs to check the table because no one needs to know their personality. It doesn't matter if you've been affected by this given motive or not. Your actions needn't change. I'm sorry if this sounds callous or dismissive, but the simple fact of the matter is that we must prioritize saving the most lives possible. <sighs> if we must let Brian murder two of us to secure the safety of the rest of us, then that's a threat we must make. This isn't self-preservation speaking. I swear, I'd make the promise whether I was affected by the announcement or not. So then, what's the plan, Chief? The plan hasn't changed at all. We're going to find all the minor trinkets, and then we'll all reach the finish line at the same time. Hold on, isn't it super duper bad idea not to change anything now that we know about the personality types? Now there's a really good reason for someone to betray us. And how exactly do you propose they'd go about doing something like that? We've heard in everyone's abilities, and there's no quicker way of moving than all of us using the minor trinket. If the victorious type tries to get ahead of the others before we begin using them, we'll immediately know who their intentions. From there, the group can work against a common enemy and stop them. Once we get all of the minor trinkets, we can make it to the finish line in a matter of two rounds. Even if the defeated type doesn't activate the trinket, more than 9 will receive a joint victory, so the immunity will be forfeit. I suspect that's why the 9 person caveat was added in the first place. If I was also it. Brian must have deemed it too easy for the defeated type to win had the rule not been in place. So ultimately, if we just proceed with this strategy, the 10 of us with normal personalities will be fine. <laughs> Great! So there's really no need to fear at all! Thank God. You are being awfully naive. What? 
Do you seriously think that those burdened with this rule would simply roll over and die? If they were willing to do that, they would have spoken up when we asked them to. Those with the will to survive would find some way to do so. To think they wouldn't is to underestimate desire to live. Horace's words hung heavy. Of course he was right. If they hadn't outed themselves already, then the people facing harsher rules wouldn't be content with things operating smoothly. The air would now be plagued with a brutal sense of distrust. How could we... How could we... Uh, when traitors lurked in our midst. But we had no choice other than proceeding with the plan, even if we knew something was likely to go wrong. So what? Are we just going to look for trinkets like nothing wrong? I suppose. Oh, so you're just cool with us wandering around by ourselves in a creepy school when there are people who want us dead? I see, that's cool. Good leadership there. Do you have a problem with me? Uh, the girl's scared, and who can blame her? You're the shitty commander and not thinking about the safety of your grounds. Okay, well, do you have a suggestion? I'll move in groups of three. Tiger, Horse, Bunny, and myself would each be in one group, so all of them have someone who looks halfway decent at fighting. Sounds good so far. Why did you not include me on the list of fighters? I'd give my opponents the people's elbow. <laughs> this is a wrestling move! Got them screaming for the mummies, but the mummies won't be there because I had fucked them already so hard that the mummies won't be able to walk. <laughs> Well, I want to kind of that theory, but being just shit out of you, we don't get that kind of time, so I'm just gonna move on by. Anyway, objections? Not right. In that case, if ever should trust someone they're most suspicious of to keep an eye on. As for me, I choose Ox. Seriously? We just brought up how the traders would try shit, and then you propose we let everyone walk off on their own. That's a trader move if I've ever seen one. I will look over sheep. You suspect me? Not what I said. Oh, gee, I don't think I suspect any of you. I guess if I had to pick, I'll keep an eye on Dog. What, you think I'm lying to you all right now? You might be. I guess you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I want to keep an eye on Snake. That guy's creeps me out. I don't trust his shifty eyes. How rude! Alright, Dragon. You split us up into four pairs, what now? But the four people are not in a group yet, just pick someone. I don't really give a shit. What an elegant solution. Who gives a shit about elegance in a time like this? <laughs> I got along swimming with Tiger earlier, and Snake seems like a nice fellow. Those two shall make a fitting partners. Well, great, to have you on board. It would be wise to pick the group without a traitor, and yes. With that in mind, I believe the safest choice would be horse and sheep. Ah, oh, thank you. Do not worry, it is not a compliment. What? <laughs> what? I realized that if I kept on doing nothing, I'd be left in a group without say. There was there were only two left, so I had to pick now. Um Ich mag Bonnie ich mag Bonnie and Dog gerne eigentlich. Ich like bei den beiden. Ich fand ich habe mit denen gut zusammengepasst, glaube ich. I'll go with Bunny and Dog. Hey, great to work with some more. Rupee. I guess that leaves me with Ox and Dragon. Oh no, I should've picked something sooner. Hey, what the hell is that supposed to mean? To speed things up since time is now more of the essence, I said we should only recover at the cafeteria once every two rounds. Sounds good? Sure thing, no one gave a shit about that in the first place. I don't. Ox, drop it. It's not worth arguing. Oh, fine. So, is this fine with everybody? The situation works, right? Ah! Uh, and actually, I have another suggestion. What is it, Mouse? I'm worried about the possibility that someone might have both traitors in their group. Oh, come on, what are the chances of that? Or what if the traitor is someone like Horse and Tiger? No one in those groups can stand against them. She's not wrong. Nope. For that reason, I think we should, as a collective pledge, to all look in the same general area. Obviously not in the same specific places, that defeats the point of spreading out, but the same area on the floor. 
That way, if something goes wrong, we can call out to each other. I, I like that idea a lot. Me too. Uh, there is strange numbers. This just makes sense. Alright, okay. We'll go with that. If this is the plan, then what section of the school shall we look through first? May I suggest the right part of this first floor? I don't think we've covered enough ground over there. Oh, sure, let's do it already. I'm sick of talking about this. <laughs> yay! We went professional! <laughs> we haven't got it, yay! Drang's curt remark cut the conversation off. We were all sick of just talking. We were antsy and nervous and sick. What would make us feel better? Looking for the dang trinkets? Oh, that's a question. That's an answer. Okay, the question is now. Lag das daran, dass ich beim ersten Mal sofort die falschen Sachen gewählt habe? Weil ich bin sofort gestorben. Oder ist das erstmal immer, dass man sofort stirbt, weil man sonst nicht vorhin kommt? Aber es... Okay, beim ersten Mal bin ich mit Ox mitgegangen und danach mit Monkey und Pig. Ha, ah, ob das wohl die falschen Antworten sofort waren, das ist spannend. Aber wenigstens leben wir noch. Und wir müssen gucken, wer die Bösen sind. Okay, wir sind mit Hund und... Äh, Dog und Bunny. Die mal mag ich, deswegen ist es gut. So, everyone started searching throughout the same general portion of the first floor. Dog was a very light conversationalist, and Bunny took his cues, so our group was a very quiet search party. But that didn't mean we weren't a determined search party. We went through rooms with a great amount of precision and speed. It was only natural that before long, Bunny found something unusual. In some room with a big projector, there was a safe hidden under some stairs. Unfortunately, to open it, there was some crossword puzzle that used a bunch of movie trivia. Oh, nein! How the hell are we supposed to answer some of these when we haven't watched some of the movies? It's really weird. In the past, these things didn't seem to need specific knowledge. I don't know why this one's different. Uh, if we're really stuck, why don't we start asking other people for help? Didn't that one kid do camera stuff? You mean acting? Yeah, yeah, whatever. My point is that we should pull our brain researchers, you feel me? Good thinking. Ah, Rooster! Taking Doc's advice, we talked to other people, and before we knew it, we were able to solve the puzzle. By the time Bunny was able to open the safe, we had amazed something of a crowd. Unfortunately, when we looked in the safe, there wasn't a minor trinket, but a statue. Bunny took it out. What's this? There's... Numbers on it. Eight, two, nine. Shut up. Shut up. What? You moron. We don't know what it does. Uh, you missed a piece of paper inside the safe again. Whoops. Same then, same mistake. You know what I mean? Uh, just read the paper, dog. I'm getting to it. Relax. Um. This is a prayer statue for the ancient draconic gods set to strike down enemies if asked. By activating this item, you are, introdu you are introducing another action that animals can take. There will now be a prey option to be all available. After pressing prey, you can select any other animal's name, or you can select no one. Prey cycles will be every 50 minutes instead of 45, and everyone must select a prayer option, each circle or face punishment. Which means there will be three prey cycle, three three prey cycles. Every 45 minute round. At the end of a... Ow! At the end of a prey cycle, the participant whose name was entered by the most people will receive holy judgment and will be executed. E executed? The votes will be anonymous, but it will be revealed how many people voted for the participant. If everyone select no one, or if multiple people receive an equal amount of votes, no one will be executed. When you activate this item, the effect will start at the beginning of the next round, and will be explained to the group. That's crazy! Who would ever want to activate that item? <laughs> There's absolutely no benefit to something like that. You mean to tell me my sick A second chance information was nothing? I wouldn't be so quick to dismiss the use of this item. If there were a traitor, which we could not easily conventionally defeat, say Horror or Tiger, we could activate this item and use it to take them down safely. It's a leveling item to ensure that if there's one person comple completely physical superior to the group, they can simply just all the rest. What is it? What if it... 
What if it is a bait? We lock the statue up and never open it. Agreed. It seems entirely too risky to activate the item under any circumstances. So we decided to seal off that item. Yay! We kept on searching. Snake Roots found another Maya trinket. Bring the count to six. Wow, we just press six? Hey, we come voran, aber. Ob wir noch weiter vorankommen, das ist der nächsten Part, denn ich glaube, wir haben diesen Part schon eine Menge gemacht. Und zwar, wir haben herausgefunden, dass es einen Traitor gibt. Erneut sogar zwei. Wir haben ein Item gefunden, das andere exekutieren kann, was riskant wird wahrscheinlich. Und wir haben sechs Meilen jetzt schon mal. Yay! Und wir haben Gruppen erstellt. Ich habe Dog und Bunny, meine Boys, meine Boys. Und beim nächsten Mal geht die Suche weiter. Von daher freut euch drauf, denn wir sehen uns da.